I'm like Scott Davis. I'm an actress, producer, mom, wife. And now I'm tasking myself with doing something completely different, which is opening my own production studio, Ego Lab. What most people don't know is that I have a true love for all things home design. I'm super thankful that Lex had the open-heartedness to bring me into it in the way that she has. I have my incredible husband, owner of Scalable Content, who will also be hands-on with this project. And it's not gonna be easy. The back is supposed to be 42 inches. I am not a board certified contractor. This was a time where I was given an opportunity to help support her dream and her vision. What I want is to have a place people can spark new ideas, they get inspired, and see all the wonderful possibilities that can be created within these walls. I want people who come here to know that I had something to do with every part of this building. And I'm gonna be down for the ride. I started looking for a building maybe like two years ago. The idea alone came nine years ago. We found a place after searching maybe like five different buildings, put an offer on it, tried to get them to see the vision of what I was going for. They weren't really understanding it and the building was bare bones. I would have had to build everything in terms of what a production studio would need for it to work. I did the most. I did 3D renderings of the space. I made decks. I wrote letters and they just weren't understanding it. And so I got discouraged. Mo was like, no, you should still look. He searches online and one of the places he found was this amazing building right in the heart of Culver City. We walked in for the first time and I was just like, oh my God, look at the set, look at the set. I was doing the most. He like, chill, calm down, you don't want them to know you hype. And I was like, oh my bad. What I didn't know is that this space that we have, the space that is the birth of Ego Lab, was waiting for me literally around the corner. We did what we had to do. We negotiated for a month and a half, but we got the keys right before Thanksgiving. So obviously I can't do everything. So I have my boy Oscar is gonna come through and he's gonna pretty much take over and be my lead contractor. Yes. I feel a little bit nervous um, because it's it's a lot to take in. I have big ideas. We probably have completely different design styles. That's okay. I'm gonna get him on board and whatever he's not willing to do, I'm gonna just do it anyway. <laughs> the ideas that she's been throwing out are kind of out of this world, but we're gonna make it happen one way or another. I guess what I want us to get to today is for you to like see it in real life and kind of assess everything. My theme is to create an environment where people never want to leave and where every single inch of this studio is a photographic space. As soon as you enter in the front, I'm going to call this my Wi-Fi lounge. We welcome people in who are renting the space. They are welcome to have a meeting, have a coffee, have a laptop, if they need to go through any pre or post production. I want to go for a clubhouse energy. I want to darken the space. It's just, it's plain. It, it's all these white walls. It has no edge to it. And I think I want to go green. What we're also going to do is add wainscoting to the walls because these ceilings are massive and I feel like you just need to fill it in. For the main studio area, I felt like it offered us so many wonderful textures with the brick, with the concrete, with the windows, but it's so hodgepodge. There's different textures everywhere beyond that. I feel like to help us out, to really make the set pop, 
It just needs a fresh coat of white paint and the face of the offices just need a coat of black. I think it'll help elevate the space. It'll make it feel a little more modern. I'll keep some hints of the original brown because I think brown and black do mix well together. It's a bigger job than me and my paint roller can handle. So Oscar is going to call in Hoshue, his friend who is a professional painter, who can come in and spray these walls down for us. Pick some colors that you might like. Get some samples. Okay. We'll get a piece of wood. We'll sand it down and we'll mimic what we're going to do here. Okay. And we'll do three areas on that wood and you choose from there. Okay. In addition to the lounge area, there's a couple closets that came with the space. We're going to turn it into a phone room. If you need to take a private call, you have somewhere to step away and you know shut the door and, and handle your business, especially if you're a producer um, like myself or Mo. This isn't just a normal phone room. It's actually an epic step into this pink retro idea that I have. I'm hoping that it'll come to life. The kitchenette is okay. It's not terrible. The cabinets are really wonky. I have to figure that out. Me and Oscar are gonna do some investigating. All I'm gonna do is change out the hardware, which is a really good idea, especially if you need to be renter friendly and you wanna bump up the space, you wanna modernize it a little bit. So I'm playing around with different tile ideas. There's sheets of adhesive that we can just line the wall with and put our own I think it's the perfect choice for this space and it gives us the room to play and get a little, think a little out of the box in terms of what types of tile patterns that they offer. Sometimes it's sure as I have a couple questions because with bringing in productions and people coming in to do their videos, photo shoots or whatnot, our liability covers if one of them gets injured, anything happens. That's what that liability is. Yes. But in terms yes. of them needing insurance for our space in case they damage something, do we should we be asking for insurance for them as well? Yes. What I'm scared of is like some crazy insurance liability issue. Like as a business owner, like that's I I'm aware that that is a very real thing. I just pray nothing catches on fire. Someone doesn't fall beyond my own health insurance. I don't know how that stuff works. So the insurance it's three grand. Because that is annual. That's probably an ego tab too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Keep me posted on the additional funds. I'm late for a lunch, but good we talked. Great, yeah. Great, thank you. And even better is that I got to see you and smile. Yeah. Um, seeing you in that space, I'm seeing the vision of the future of what you're going to do. And it's important to not be stagnant. This is what creators do. Keep doing it and we'll be here to support you, okay? Thanks, Eduardo. Thank you, Joy. Uh, Alright, have a good one. Oh. It means a lot coming from him. Yeah, especially how you know it's so hard to get him on board with it. Right. It's perfect. We should be going to launch a fully equipped, beautiful state of the art space. What's dope about the space we found is that it's structured in a way that I can still have some separation from multiple things to happen and all of my original ideas that I thought I had to, you know, put in my back pocket and wait for that 10,000 square foot space. I actually am able to still do it here. It's mind blowing. I'm excited to get started. I have so many ideas. Oh my goodness. I'm going to turn this place out. I have all of these ideas and it's quite a load and I have a deadline that I'm trying to meet to open the space and invite the public in. So bringing Hoshue in, I'm hoping that he's able to do all of this within a week. So when you're painting, no work should be happening. Yes. How long all in prep paint do you think this is? Two weeks. We don't have two weeks. 